looking at tonight's card, we really do have all hands on. EF. Oh, yeah. Cena doesn't miss many chances to lock that hold in, does he? John Cena pushing forward. And when John Cena is able to lock in that STF hold that we were talking about, the result is pretty predictable. Very few of his foes are able to escape it. Right. Cena has a lot of championship matches on his resume, and so many of them have ended on a tap out after John's applied the STF. You know, a few of those contests come to mind, Michael. Cena used the STF to force Mark Henry to tap out at Money in the Bank in 2013. Jimmy Uso going to work now. He anticipated that move perfectly. Landing. And check out Jimmy Uso, folks. He has taken some serious damage. Well, well, well. That's the first time tonight we've seen that move. I wouldn't mind seeing it a little more often. The champ to the top turnbuckle. What's he got in mind? Plenty of downward thrust on that elbow drop. Ooh, it landed right on the money, too. Downward thrust on that elbow drop. Ooh, it landed right on the money, too. One. Oh, and there goes the ref. The official is out of it. He's making a statement here with his super kick. Good night. Oh, man, there's the finisher. This could be it. Now that's what you call finishing a fight. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. Looks like somebody wants back in. What a night, ladies and gentlemen, that we have in store for you tonight. I'm Michael Cole, alongside the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. And you know, Michael, I've been looking forward to this night for a very long time. Let's get it on. This one's going to be great. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. <laughs> Using all his power to drive him to the mat. Let's talk briefly about Fandango. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy Fandango's moves just as much as the next guy. But if he's concentrating more on his in-ring career and less on the salsa, he'd be an absolute unstoppable force. Whether you like his moves or not, Fandango has the attitude and ability to defeat whoever he targets in WWE. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. Fandango's fancy footwork doesn't just make him an elite ballroom dancer. He's smooth in the ring with a mean streak a mile long. Fandango's training has given him an amazing level of agility, balance, and control that can see him fly off the top rope and rub his opponent's face in the mat. What a cut! Oh! That's it. What a finishing maneuver. This could be it. Oh, lights out. Oh, man, I think he needs to regroup after that. Oh, boy, I think the referee is out of it. That chair shot landed. Oh, my God. 
How's that for a steal and flesh beat once more? Fandango brings his unmatched precision and grace with his ringside where I can barely hear myself think. There's no doubt this is one of the most exciting lineups we've had in a month of Sunday, so stay tuned. Looking at tonight's card, we really do have all hands on. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. Don't buckle up to hell with it. We have a team led by one of our breakout talents against a tuned group of combatants. You know, this is the type of contest where everyone in the locker room is also watching. legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here we're ready to go i have a feeling that action is going to be plenty intense in this one as a three-time d looking at tonight's card we really do have all hands on buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place don't buckle up to hell with it we have a team led by one of our breakout talents against a tuned group of combatants you know, this is the type of contest where everyone in the locker room is also watching. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. I have a feeling that action is going to be plenty intense in this one. As a three-time deep tag team champion, these guys are going to have to be pretty damn good to impress me. But I know one thing, when Tyler Breeze is here, a beauty shot can't be far behind, so bring it on! So damaging. Let's talk briefly about Tyler Breeze. What does he need to do to make sure his team comes out on top here? Here's somebody who can do it all, whether it's in solo competition or as part of a team, which we're seeing here tonight. Well, this is my first chance to get a look at this superstar, so it'll be exciting to see what he can do. Back inside now. Fandango's fancy footwork doesn't just make him an elite ballroom dancer. He's smooth in the ring with a mean streak a mile long. Fandango's training has given him an amazing level of agility, balance, and control that can see him fly off the top rope and rub his opponent's face in the mat. Whoa. I've never seen him do that before. Oh my God, his body's been through hell and his ribs have bore the brunt of hat. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damage ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. Could this be it? I think so. Just got taken out. He needs to look out. Sledgehammer. And again, the mind games are played. This match has taken so much. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. Fondango with a nice reversal. He's starting to stumble here. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. Come on, if he can't withstand this, he's in the wrong profession. Yeah, well at this point, he may want to think about finding a way to take a breather. Careful not to take on too much more danger.
Hello YouTubers, thanks for watching my video, please click the eye in the corner for more and also please follow the links in the description below.